what's up youtube uh, it's another video from anton daniels this is titled nice guys are trash <laughs> just people pleasers woman says nice guys finish last good men are strong that is weird anyway uh i see y'all watching the videos y'all uh subscribe to your boy y'all y'all watching you know what i'm saying just look out for your boy you know what i'm saying give me some motion in the subscribers and in the views you know what i'm saying or and if you want to see me uh, react to these videos in person come over to twitch the homie say so you know what i'm saying we got the we got the folks over here in twitch we're watching this right now you know what i'm saying you could be a part of this we cannot make it all so lovely you know what i'm saying have a good happy marriage going on but uh this is another from anton what's up marie appreciate the emotes the the uh what is that a fucking whale that's a dinosaur all right uh i don't know why again youtube i'm not complaining i don't know why y'all love this red pill blue pill shit but it is what it is if that's pushing me in the algorithm you know what i'm saying i really a gamer i'm really a fucking dweeb i want to uh i want to do gaming stuff you know what i'm saying hopefully y'all are subscribe to me and like me for me eventually but you know it is what it is but i keep giving my little two cents in on this stuff we already done uh reacted to an anton video before y'all know what it is y'all fuck with him uh the original video gonna be in the description and uh yeah let's get into being it. a nice guy versus being a good man oh can't stand nice guys what yeah. can't what's the difference they they're people pleasers to me when i hear a nice guy and remember you have to remember how i so all nice guys are people pleasers bull fucking shit my boy oh let me start let me start right, no, i'm already starting all right hold on i associate to the word nice nice means you want to make other people happy nice means you are walked over easily oh, i feel like nice guys finish last because they're always putting everyone else before them her whereas a good man he stands ten toes down he stands ten toes down yeah i respect a good man i don't necessarily respect a nice guy they gonna come for me on that one. It's gonna be a lot of hurt people in these comments. Oh, God. I do get that, but why can't both be true? Why can't a why can't a nice dude be a good man also? I do get the ones that like probably in like the girls then like it be the, it be them fucking simps. A lot of them it be them fucking simps that uh they be seeing in here fucking, you know, always hyping up uh a female they ain't every girl inbox you so beautiful you xyz this then the third man them niggas is awful bro they ruin it for everybody bro hate them niggas bro them niggas bro uh oh, that's an old, another story bro but anyway it be them niggas okay yeah them niggas is them niggas are pushovers like them niggas are super simps simps gotta we gotta end the simps bro they but they just lonely bro i understand why simps are simping they thinking that shit gonna work because women say they want a nice dude they don't want a nice dude and when they get when simps realize that they'll stop being simps but you know what i'm saying it's it's hard out here for them okay i got we got two more okay so the next one is this is juicy why are some men insecure around strong women that are about business you have experience in this era <sighs> how long they got we have time <laughs> i mean it wasn't no cap in a rap listen the one thing that we got to stop doing is we got to stop disqualifying people's opinions instead we use that as leverage and then we learn more about why they're thinking the way that they're thinking my father always told me, yo, nice guys finish last and you don't ever want to be nice. And he wasn't saying as far as nice to people, but he's saying that you didn't want to be a pushover for women. And he always said, listen, I'd rather have your respect and fear than your love. And so when I say that you need to be selfish before you be selfless, when you look in a chat and I say that during a live stream, the women 100% absolutely agree. They agree 100% of the time because they understand that they're the beneficiaries of your greatness. And if a guy is being too nice, let's look at it a couple different ways, all right? Let's say 
uh, use the example that she illustrated and say, oh, you know, nice guy. And y'all always trying to walk up and, hey, beautiful. Hey, sweetness. <laughs> but then on the flip side, we say, hey, guys that don't care and say no usually are the ones that get more box. And then y'all fight it because y'all never had a father in your life to actually illustrate it or you didn't have any big homies to show you in real life. And so the only examples that you have are people that don't know what they're talking about. And then they have these conversations online and they're trying to give you the game on how you're supposed to move. And then you're not having any success because you didn't realize that the fact that you care more about. You. Look, I can be so blunt <clears throat> and I am. I'm absolutely transparent and I'm blunt every single day. And I tell people exactly what I think and how I feel. And it's authentic. And I say, hey, man, I feel like I'm better than you. And that, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm literally the only person that I answer to is God. And can't no hotel tell me nothing. That you, what you think, that that's slow? That slow the amount of women that's going to send you DMs? Nah, bro, that... that he being real though like you gotta like you gotta stand you gotta stand on what they what, uh what the niggas was saying you gotta stand on business that's what it is bro like you just gotta be confident bro you gotta you gotta be confident bro and a lot of simps just thinking they gotta they can just be sweet that shit man i learned my pops told me that sweet shit don't get you nowhere, bro. Man, for real, that sweet shit don't like. I mean, you could be sweet to your girl and stuff, and even and even they take that shit for granted, bro. Like that a girl like that a girl see you, you know, being whatever, and then you know they take they take you for granted or whatever, and you gotta you know you gotta let them know or whatever. But that that sweet shit don't get you nowhere, bro. All the niggas that don't be giving a fuck, bro, they don't give a fuck. And when you stop caring, that's when they come for real. And that's the sad part. And that slows the amount of action that you get in real life. You think that it means something? You think that just because my chick is sitting right here next to me that I'm not going to talk about whether or not that chick is bad over here or I'm not going to send a flight? No, I'm going to do exactly what it is that I say that I'm going to do. And just because I got married don't mean that I, that I shut my eyes or I, I clip my balls off or anything like that because... The nature of me is who I am. And I'm not sitting here trying to put on no airs from nobody. I'm just going to be authentically me. I'm not here to be nice to you. I'm here to provide uh, an environment and an experience based off of whatever it is that my lifestyle is. And it's because I was selfish before I was selfless because I can't pour out of an empty cup. And so guys that spend all of their time and their ener energy trying to entertain everybody else and make everybody else happy and please the people pleaser for women. I mean, she's 100% correct. Guys that spend all of their energy trying to simp for women, and that's why simping is bad. They mess up the game because all they... <laughs> what I tell y'all, bro? It be the simps, bro. It be the simps, bro. I know so many dudes that's out here, bro, just trying to get... They just trying to, like, be a people pleaser, bro, and just want to be loved by the wrong people. And it's just like, bro... Like that shit is so backwards, bro. Like I don't understand, and they and they be they wonder why shit don't be happening for them. You know what I'm saying? They do is push the women even further into the direction of the guys that they really want. And so when you simp out for, her, and then she puts you in her phone as food, and then she wind up feeding the dude that she really want to bust down for for free with your credit card. That's the <laughs> real thing. You don't want to believe it. But I'm telling you, I get guys that call up to my show every single Wednesday. Every single Wednesday. Anton, she busted down for a real one. Anton, she tricked off on another dude. Anton, she had another dude in the house. She had another dude. Her mother was sitting there helping her cheat on me. Even Damn! Her mama understand the nature of a sucker. Hold on, somebody, bro. If your mama helping, boy, if yo, and her mama helping her cheat, boy, you a bum. Oh, ain't no other way to put it, my boy. Oh my god, boy. Oh my god. Damn, that's oh, that's different right there. And the way that God programmed women was to be a helpmeet. 
They need guidance. They need direction. They need to be dealt with a certain way or they don't even feel like that they're sufficient for you. They yearn to work for you. They're yearning to be more productive for you. They want to be in the presence of a strong dude that's not sitting there telling them what they want to hear, but it's telling them what they need to know. And even if they resist it a little bit, they actually embrace it. And so they can't stand nice guys. Now, that doesn't mean that, you know, you, you, you're you not supposed to be a nice guy. And you can't keep taking it literal. When we say nice guys, again, it means guys that is a push pushover and is trying to be a pleaser for women. Basically a simp. Basically a simp. Instead of a guy that's actually doing a thing that's in his best interest, which she ultimately is going to be, be the beneficiary for it. Man, listen, when you think about a woman, and some people can't understand, man, why she busting it down for a dude or why he got her heart. You know, I, I think back on that movie, and I was thinking about a casino. And some of y'all are too young to uh, understand casino, but it's one of the greatest movies of all time. And if you have not seen casino, it's a gangster movie uh, starring uh, Robert De Niro and Joe Pesci. Um, and it's a great, great movie. And, and you know, she was always imprinted on by Lester. And Lester was a, a degenerate, right? Like, seriously, gambler, degenerate, never had nothing, you know, didn't matter what he looked like, couldn't even hold the candle to Sam Rothstein. And Ginger was a chick that everybody wanted, but Ginger had been imprinted on by Lester. And Lester was like, yo, pfft, Taken for everything he got and all of this other type of stuff. Sam Rothstein on the other side was setting her up and I'm going to put a million dollars in a safe for you just in case anything ever happens. You'll always be taken care of. And eventually he got took. He got took. And he led with trying to please her instead of understanding exactly who she is. And the nature of a woman is still the nature of a woman. And so when I see guys a lot of times and they say stuff like, oh, it's different. It's not. It's not. Their mindset, who they are, the core of what they are and what they ultimately seek. And the fact that if you're strong enough to tell them no and to not pay them as much attention, but ultimately just be a person that is cool to be around, you're going to get more. The women come with it. The money come with it. The purpose comes with it. All you got to do is focus on being great. And you being great for you, not for her. Don't go get the car for her. Don't get, don't. That's another thing, bro. Like, it's one thing, and like, your character is just like, you know, you, it's one thing for you just to have, like, just be a, a genuine, good, kind soul. But, like, when you grinding or, like, doing something, like, don't do it to impress these females, bro. Do it to better yourself and, and just, you know, following your purpose without a female. Because a female's not going to not going to appreciate you until you get to wherever you're going bro women do not care about us for real bro and I, and I, I i know that for a cold hard fact they do not care about us and y'all can feel the type of way or whatever but women do not care about us especially like when you grinding or like you not where you want to be in life or you ain't got the money and stuff like that bro they do not care bro and they may fuck with you for a little bit they may get a little bit out of you or whatever they can or they may be going through something and they may you know they want your time or something right then and there but other than that they don't care bro they don't give a fuck uh, and uh, uh, once uh, once dudes understand that and just understand you know what I'm saying? and i'll grant it like you may find you somebody who genuinely just fuck with you but they got to show it, bro. Like, action, bro, you cannot be listening to words. It's actions. You got to see what they actions are, bro. And a lot of dudes, like, be stuck on these fem these women. And they, like, be listening to what they're saying, but their actions not adding up. And they be, like, you know, believe in the words and believe in the dream. And they, they get fucked over, bro. And it's fucked up. And what he's saying is real. Like, what he's saying is true. Like, you know, I can't even, I ain't got no rebuttal for real with it. You know what I'm saying? I don't even watch this stuff. Like, this like the second video we don't react to, but. Don't be great for her. Stop trying to do things in order to make her happy. You can't make her happy. The core of who she is is who she is. The only thing that you.
you cannot make other people happy. You can enhance their life and enhance their happiness. But if a person's not healed, and this goes for anybody, if somebody isn't healed within themselves and know how to make themselves happy and 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 and, and true to their selves and what's inside of them, but they just gonna be leeching off everybody and draining folks and just draining folks until they're happy. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, you personally cannot make nobody happy. You yourself cannot make nobody happy. And if people, if somebody come to you and be like, you know, you brighten their day and this, that, and the third, and they're always negative, always depressed or something like that, you don't really make them happy. You're feeling a void and they're running away from something. And they need to, they need to sit with their feelings and they need to go through whatever trauma they have to. And that's what a lot of this shit is, bro. It's trauma. When folks deal with their trauma, the world will be so much. What you can do is vet more effectively and then focus on being great. She's going to eventually fall in line if you are the person that you say that you are. And they can't stand you. They cannot stand when they are around somebody that is trying to please them. All they're doing is using you. And she's telling you, listen, I don't want to be around a nice guy. I can't stand a nice guy. When I see a guy trying to be overly nice to me, it rubbed me the wrong way because it tells me that he's a people pleaser. Now, will they deal with you? Yeah, especially when they get older and they don't have as many options. Absolutely. That's the dude that they wind up settling for. But what they choose you, it's a difference. So I don't want to be around anybody that don't choose to be around me. I don't want to be around anybody that doesn't choose to be around me. And I know that this is going to be a hard pill to swallow. I know that this is going to be a hard pill to swallow, but I'm trying to tell you and I'm trying to help you to understand and I'm trying to give you the game. If nobody is going to tell you, Uncle Anton is going to tell you. I'm going to give you the game. <laughs> he said um, Uncle Anton. <laughs> I'm definitely going to hold you down. I'm going to add value into your life and I'm going to make sure that you're doing well. But the, but that's and that's another thing a lot of a lot of men uh not uh, didn't grow up with, you know, a male figure in their life and so like I saw a lot of these podcasts and these, you know, red pill, blue pill shit is blowing up because men need guidance. A lot of men need need somebody to, like, you know, put them in the right direction. That's really what a lot of this stuff is. And a lot of people, hey, man, ain't got the money to go to a therapist and deal with their trauma. Like, you know what I'm saying? And so, or a, a, a lot of people may not have, like, the emotional, emotional intelligence to know how to sift through, sift, sift through their trauma but they know like there's a problem they're trying to fix it so like you know that's what a lot of dudes like this like, i don't really watch this dude but uh it sound like he he got a, a real he true to what he's saying bro you know what i'm saying but you're gonna have to you're gonna have to open up your mindset to what's really happening out here in these streets and it absolutely can change your life it absolutely can change your life but you're going to have to be open to it. And if you're not open to it, then you're going to continue to get the same results that you've been getting the entire time. And it's not going to be best for you. So, you know, I, I want you to win. I want you to be great. I want you to be successful. And, you know, I want you to be open-minded to it. Stop trying to be a people pleaser. She's absolutely right. Doesn't mean that she's going to get the man that she wants. That remains to be seen. But she's absolutely right. But you have to be open to the possibilities, and then it's ultimately going to benefit you long term. Listen, I love you. I appreciate you. Can't wait to read the comments. Make sure y'all tapped into the Patreon. The link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. Uh, stay away from the negative Nancy's. Get your bag up. Get your bread up. Um, and don't sit here and go back and forth for people that's broke. They can't do nothing for you. Put them <sighs> out of your circle. I'll holler at y'all later. Peace. I'm out, I'm out broke, folks. What's that, Dad? What up, Dad? Uh, what he say? Yeah, uh, I mean everything he said, he's spot on, my boy. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I ain't really got no uh rebuttal. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really got nothing against so it. He's right, bro. You and, and a lot of men to add on what he's saying. You know what I'm saying? Don't argue with broke people and all that stuff. But follow, get your purpose. Like if you got a, you know, deep down inside, you got something to give to the world. Are you good at something? You know what I'm saying? Tap into that, man. Like, don't chase no, don't chase no woman, bro. 
a woman ain't gonna do nothing bring you more heartache and stuff it was crazy is when you tap into your purpose and what you want to do with the world women come and it's it's sick it's sick how they just come out of nowhere it's crazy so tap into your purpose that's the end of that video y'all uh go subscribe to subscribe to him. i'm gonna subscribe to him now i guess it's the second video i should subscribe to him since i've been uh, reacting to it so but youtube man y'all subscribe to me too bro y'all watching me reacting and stuff y'all liking the motion y'all see y'all giving me a little motion give me some of that juice bro i need the juice i need the juice with the motion so i can have my cup overflow it. and i'm trying to do this for y'all you know what i'm saying oh that was bars oh i'm in the video on that i'll let y'all youtube